What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can install and run Kali Linux 2025.1 on Windows 11 operating system virtually using the virtual box. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. So guys, right now you can see my Windows 11 operating system screen. Now, first of all, to install Kylinux and run it on a virtual machine, you need to download a couple of files. Here you can see in my download folder, I have 7-zip, Kylinux zip file, virtual box, and the virtual box extension pack. You need to download all of this file in case to run the Kylinux virtually on Windows 11 operating system. Now, let me show you from where you can download all of these files. So, just simply open up any of your browser. Then go to google.com. Then first of all, search here 7-zip. Then go to this website 7-zip.org. Then click on download. And from here, download the 7-zip application. Then on Google, search for virtual box. Then go to virtualbox.org, this website. Click on download. Then click on Windows Host to download the Windows installer of VirtualBox. Then also click on Accept and Download to download the extension pack. Then again, search for Kali Linux. Go to this first website, kali.org. Click on Download. Click on Virtual Machines. Then from here, download these files, this VirtualBox Kylinux zip file. You can click on this icon to directly download the zip file or you can use the torrent file to download this kind of virtual zip file. I had already downloaded all of them, so I'm not going to download them again. Okay, now if I go to my downloads folder, here you can see all the files. Now, first of all, what you need to do, you have to install the 7-zip application on your Windows 11. So, right click on the 7-zip, then click on open, install and it will install the 7-zip application. Then click on close. Now you have to extract this Kylinux zip file using this 7-zip application. So right click here, click on show more options, then go to 7-zip, then click on extract to Kylinux zip file. Now here you can see we have created a new folder. This is the extracted folder of this Kylinux VirtualBox zip file. It's going to take some time to extract completely. So sit back and relax. Okay. Now after that, you have to install the VirtualBox application. Right click on the VirtualBox installer. Click on open. Click on next. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. Next. Yes. Yes. Next. Install. Now this is going to install this VirtualBox application on your Windows 11 operating system. It's also going to take some time, so you have to wait until the installation gets completed. Okay, now click on finish and you'll get your VirtualBox manager like this. Now you have to add this extension pack with the VirtualBox. So right click here, click on open with VirtualBox. Then click on install. Scroll down. Click on I agree, accept the agreement, and you should install the VirtualBox extension pack into your VirtualBox manager. Now, let me show you how you can import the Kylinux operating system or Kylinux virtual machine into this VirtualBox manager. So, just simply go to the extracted folder and make sure to open this .vbox file with the VirtualBox. Right click on it, then open with VirtualBox manager. And here you can see our VirtualBox manager has been imported with the Kylinux operating system or Kylinux virtual machine. Now you can make some tweak and changes to VirtualBox setting. Here I am going to give the base memory 4 GB. Then I am going to increase the video memory to 256. Then I am going to click on settings, network. Then select the bridge adapter from here. Then click on OK. 
Now to start the Kylinux virtual machine, click on start. And if you get this type of error, then don't get panic. I'm also going to show you how you can solve this issue. Just simply click on OK. Now open up Windows Explorer, go to local disk, program files, Oracle, virtual box, drivers, then VBOX sub this folder. Then from here, right click on this VBOX sub.inf, then click on install. Here you can see it gives us a pop up the operation completed successfully. Now click on start, search for CMD. Now type here SC start, then type this file name VBOX sub then press enter and it gonna give you this type of output. Now close the command prompt, also the Windows Explorer. Now again try to start the virtual machine. And guys, here you can see our virtual machine or Kylinux virtual box or virtual machine is starting. Give it some time to properly boot or start up. Okay, here is the Kylinux login screen. The default credentials is Kali, password also Kali. Then click on login. And guys, here is our Kylinux virtual machine. Let's increase the window size. Let's change this wallpaper also. Okay, so guys, here it is. Here is our Kylinux virtual machine running on our Windows 11 operating system virtually using the virtual box. So guys like this you can easily install and run Kylinux operating system virtually on Windows 11 operating system using the virtual box. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil. You are watching a tech tutorial, and I'm signing off.